So now let's see how we can work with question pool and random questions inside of Adobe Captivate. So as uh, someone progresses through and you want to throw in some random questions, what you can do is you can utilize question pools to throw out random questions to the one who is taking the lesson. So for that, you have to go to quiz and first make the question pool. So you can import the question pool right over here or make your own. So I'm just going to go to question pool manager and make my own. You can also go over here, import different files for question pool if you have them or make your own. In my case, I'm just going to make that on my own. So you can see that pool one is there. You can add as many, many pools as you want. I'm just going to work with one over here. So I'm just going to delete this out. Over here, let's go over here and rename this to tutor tube pool right over here. All right, there you go. So there you go, uh, tutor tube pool right over here as you can see. So now what I can do is I can add in question slides right here. So let's say, for example, I can have something like a true or false question right over here. I can have something uh, like a multiple choice question over here. And I can have, let's say, for example, a fill in the blanks uh, question slide right over here. So just like that, I got three pools over here, as you can see. So I can just close it and start working with the question pool right over here. So I can go over here just like this and start working with the question pool. So you can see that this is an empty question pool right over here. So let us start working. Let me just go to quiz uh, question pool manager and then click on this. I need to click on this right over here so that I can start working on this. OK, so you can see that true or false is here. So let's say the first option. Uh, OK, choose true right over here. And then I'm going to go around here, complete the sentence by filling in the blanks, type in the blank phrase. All right. So let it be blank. All right. So let it be blank itself. And then the third one is that type the question right over here. Choose a right over here. All right. So you got three questions uh, over here in the question pool. So we are working inside the question pool. As you can see, this is the question pool and this is the timeline. Here is the question pool and here is the timeline. You got to remember that right over here. So now uh, you can go to the question pool settings right over here as well. You can add in questions over here and add in more slides as well, so just like adding regular slides. You can go to quiz and you can see that you, get, you have all of the other options as well. So let me just go back to the timeline right over here and then work around with this and bring in a question pool now. So what I need is I do need a question pool um, uh, to show up in a, as a random question. So I need to go to slide right over here and then go to question slide and then click on random question right over here. Once I do that, you can see that I have a choice to link it to a question pool right over here. This will be graded. All right. Press OK and a random question appears right over here, as you can see. So if I were to go to preview and if I were to preview the project right over here, so let's see how that actually looks like right over here. So if I were to press play now after the black slide is over, it'll bring up a random question as you can see. So right now it is bringing the choose true, the true or false question right over here. And then right over here, uh, I get to the result base. So let me just preview this again, preview the entire project again. Let's see if I get another question now. So last time I got the true or false question. Now I might get a different question right over here. So I got the same question right over here. That's true or false itself. So let me just go around here, right? Until I get the other question right over here. So let's see if I get the other question now. So it's actually going out. And you can see that now you have the multiple choice questions. So randomly, it uh, just uh, gives you questions which are on the question pool. So you can go over here on to uh, type the answer here, the choose A and press submit. And there you go. You'll be taken to the end slide once you click it. So that is how you can work with question pools and random questions inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.